Okay, so let's begin. And so today we'll have the two long fold blankets. A reminder about how you fold these. I'll set that there in case I have some sign ins. So this came from an open blanket like this, and I turn it lengthwise and then fold it in half, long side to long side twice. And that goes like this. Now there's a, a short series of things that we're going to do on the double fold blanket, each one designed to kind of reset something in the gut brain axis. So first you're going to be lying down on this so that your hips, spine and head are all on the blankets. So I actually want you to sit on it and then lie backwards. You'll feel like you're like on a little um, platform, maybe like you're about to levitate. So in this position, also please check for yourself that you could take the arms overhead and not run into something. Yeah. And then bring your head to center. And at first, let's just rest here and let your body come into the present moment of what's happening right here, right now. And this may be the first time that you've been horizontal since you were in bed this morning. So notice what that's like for your body, like physiologically. And now, with your breath cycle as the orchestra conductor, you're going to make these actions. So inhale will be the full length of the movement. Exhale is the full length of the movement. So let's do this, please. Inhale, raise your arms up overhead slowly. Going to the end range of your inhale and your movement simultaneously. Exhale and lower that down. Again, inhale. So your breath pace will be different than mine. And the idea is to pace yourself with your breath cycle. So your movements are synchronized with your breathing. And it's exhale down and inhale up. I do want to encourage you to do it, to do it slowly because slowly is going to be more soothing to your nervous system right now. So as you're taking your time moving through, you could also imagine the arms are like seaweed in the ocean, moved by the currents of the ocean. Now the next time that you're going to inhale to float the arms overhead, I'm going to ask you to do only your right arm and keep the left arm down at the starting position. So inhale, right arm overhead. And then exhale, scissor your arms, right and left, changing positions with each other. Inhale, raise your arms towards the ceiling, scissor them, so they end their movements at the completion of the inhale. And exhale to scissor. Now we're going to add the rotation of your head. So when you inhale, your arms and your nose will be up at the center together. As you continue inhaling, take your right arm overhead, turn your nose to your left, lower your left arm near your hip. Then exhale nose and arms to the ceiling. Continue exhaling, turn your nose to your right, scissor your arms. Inhale to scissor. Your nose goes to the left on that one. And exhale to scissor again, so that your, your head is rotating now with the breath cycle 
When your left arm is overhead, take your nose to the right. Inhale. When your right arm is overhead, you'll be taking your nose to the left. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. And then take both arms out into a T-shape. Bring your nose to center. Allow your shoulders to relax deeply. When you next exhale, curl the tailbone towards your shins and press your lower back into the two blankets. Try keeping your arms relaxed. And now as you exhale, bring your right knee up to your chest. Inhale to lift both knees up towards the ceiling, like this. Exhale, left knee to your chest, right toes to the floor. Inhale, knees up to center. Relax your arms, keep your head steady. Exhale, right knee in, left toes down. Inhale to center. Exhale, left knee in, right toes down, also chin down. Inhale to center. Exhale, right knee in, toes down, chin down. Inhale, knees to center. Again, left knee in, right toes down. Last one, inhale, knees to center. And exhale, toes down, toes down for both feet. Toes down and then heels down. And then deeply relax the belly your shoulders, your arms, your fingers, your mind. And now please roll down from these two blankets by going downhill to your right. Raise up to sit and come to sitting at the front edge of the two blankets. Okay. Now we're going to do something a little bit unusual this afternoon. It's not so unusual for you guys, but it's not... I don't see it done that often in other settings. And it won't be new to you completely, but for some of you it will be. So you're going to put the soles of the feet together. The blocks are for the knees. And then reach up and take this part of your blanket and curl it under your head so your gaze is down towards your heart. So this is very familiar to you guys. So put the iPad onto the, um, I put the block on the iPad. Okay, so this is familiar. Now take the sandbag and I'm gonna ask you to put most of the weight of the sandbag at the sternum, as much as you can organize it. So my sandbag is longer than my sternum, that's how they come. But I'm gonna ask you to snug that so it's at the top of the sternum coming down towards the solar plexus. And whatever weight you have left at the bottom of that sandbag, let that be kind of minimal. Okay, and then tucking the shoulders under, turn your palms face up. So the sandbag on the chest is something we don't see that often because people usually put them on the hips. And I'm recommending the chest right now because I want you to feel the, the comforting weight of weight on your heart, but I also want you to sense when the chest can't be a source for breathing, that the breath has to come down to the belly. 
And since we just had this activation in the belly, I'm going to ask you now to consider releasing, releasing, releasing the belly incrementally more and more. Let's imagine that the belly, and I've said this before, we're all carrying tension in the belly. Let's imagine it like the sand dropping through the hourglass, one grain of sand at a time. sand dropping down through the hourglass, the tension of the belly softening, softening because we're inviting it to be so. We're welcoming that release. And second to that, I'd like you to really slowly just savor a very gentle inhale and a very gentle exhale. And as much as possible, allow that to be a thoughtful, slow inhale cadence and a thoughtful, complete exhale cadence. As you're having the breath move like that, inhale slowly, exhale slowly. Let the breath come in to the belly. And the belly more and more free from tension. Make no efforts to coerce the breath or to make it bigger, deeper, stronger. So it's really a gentle breath. Like you're watching a little breeze moving through the trees as the sand through the hourglass releases one grain of sand at a time. gently continue with the breath so you're noticing it even if the mind goes to that sort of half luminous half sleepy place a gentle inhale and exhale and see if you might balance the length of inhale and exhale not by making a big stern effort but by welcoming it to be so
and gently count the breath for one or two more breath cycles. And remember, it's a really gentle, easeful process. And then relax the counting of the breath all together. And slide your sandbag now down to your hips and your pelvis. And place the weight there where you sense it's going to be on the bones, not on the lower belly. And go back to closing the eyes and let's come to resting. And so just imagining again that in the low belly you've invited this release of tension. The sand through the hourglass dropping down one grain of sand at a time. I'd like you to imagine the interior of the abdomen and the pelvis then like an open field a place where the sky is very spacious and the field is quiet and gently lit by the sun. The grasses are tall and they easily respond to the breeze. So imagine this possibility in the pelvis, in your lower belly. This image, an open sky, an open field, the tall grasses easefully respond to the breeze. Now when you rest your imagination on this image, notice the spaciousness you can invite into the belly and into your mind. This open field, the spaciousness of the sky, the tall grasses responding only to the breeze that comes and goes. Allow that sense of the field to become spacious and bring into this field a person you have felt is very benevolent for you, a person from whom you've received blessings. Someone who's been 
deeply kind, maybe even in a very simple, perhaps even nonverbal way. Allow them to come into this field of your awareness in the gut. If nobody specific comes to mind, you can imagine how I would greet you in this field with such kindness and happiness to see you. Or you could imagine how one of our great teachers with a loving heart, they would greet you in this field. Allow your body to sense what it is to be greeted by benevolence or generosity, kindness. And how you would want to be received. How would your body receive this? And as you're receiving this benevolence, this kindness, let it become you. So you become that which is already native in your heart. A generosity, a benevolence, a kindness. And in this open field, in this spacious field, you are able to greet Whatever creatures arise, forest creatures, the birds of the air, the bumblebee, just imagine the openness of heart with which you would greet the birds of the air the bumblebee, the dragonfly, the creatures of the forest that walk into this field. And then continuing with this spaciousness of heart, this innate benevolence, imagine now how you would receive a person in your life. First, a person where you have high resonance. The experience of joy is easily accessed. And you could greet them in this open field, a spaciousness of heart and mind. Try to get a sense now, a felt sense of where that joy is in your body. And then welcome into your field. You'll greet someone for whom you experience some kindness and love and appreciation. And yet currently they are experiencing vulnerabilities. And they come to this field and you are their shelter, their refuge. And sensing how you respond, how in the gut 
this open field, this spacious place, you have the room in your heart to greet their vulnerabilities. And then imagine a part of you that has been experiencing vulnerabilities. And this part of you also now comes into the field, the spacious field in the deep low belly. And from this naturally benevolent heart that is yours. Notice how you greet the part of you that experiences and may be experiencing vulnerabilities. And for this part of you, how you too can be a refuge, a shelter, having in this field of awareness in the belly this benevolent presence that you got to walk up to meet the benevolence that is yours a person with whom you have joy and camaraderie a person where you share kindness and love and there's vulnerability for them and an aspect of your own vulnerability. Now place your hands on the low belly, just appreciating all that can come into this field of awareness. And then slightly deepen your breathing. You can set your sandbag aside. And bring your knees up to meet each other. And then roll gently downhill to your right side. And take your time. You can rise up to sit, if you like. No hurries and no worries, please. And bring your hands together at your heart. So to reconnect with that most indwelling benevolence, generosity, and to know that we can greet the vulnerabilities of others and also of our own. We're going to finish with Loka Samasta. You can sing with me if you like. Loka Samasta Sukino Bavantu Loka Samasta Thank 
you very much, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Namaste. Okay, and how are you feeling?